this time maybe you'll get it. And I jinxed it. Okay, cool. So I'll take the play. Mm -hmm. Giving this deck a, a good try. One more. One of us. Well, I'd say this is fine. This is capable. We'll, we'll run with it. It's everything I need, if not everything I want. I'm good. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> you, you say that. <laughs> Well, whatever you were going to start off doing, you're not anymore. You've got a Chancellor of the Annex on you. Okay. Nice. And I will play an Ancient Spring, so Esper, and then Pastor. This is the Esper Sackland. Alright, it's not actually in my on the field, it's just an indicator there for us. Alright, cool. Irrigation Ditch. Bant. Pass turn. Fetch. Put you to 19. I don't know why I did that at the end of the turn. <laughs> oh well. It's my. <laughs> it's alright. You're not playing around Stifle. I guess theoretically you should because that makes blue, but you know what deck this is. You, <laughs> we're not worried about that. We're not needing to hold up spell pierce for stifle or anything silly like that. Welcome to Legacy. Once again, this episode brought to you by my favorite non-craft beer. Except that I prefer the light one. Huh? Uh-oh. Oh, I know where this is going. Well, okay. You're good. You've got three mana. Liliana. Okay, so this is back in the hand. Yeah, Liliana's good. This is this is kind of a, a big deal. She's going to go to four. She is indeed. <laughs> you know what I'm going to count, what I'm going to sac or discard. You have done your job, buddy. Chancellor has done its job. Go ahead. Alright, well, this is a problem. You got lucky that was in your opening hand. <laughs> oh, that, the one color I need for this. I really desperately need a color to make this work. But alas, I do not have it. Hmm. So we can do this in a couple ways. How many cards do you have in hand? Four. Four. Yeah, and I have six. So... Uh, this is awkward. Oh, excuse me. That's all right. This is really awkward, but I think it's okay in this one instance to do it this way. I'm gonna make you do it. Crystal Vein. We're actually going to pop the Irrigation Ditch, but we're not going to pop the Crystal Veins, which just makes one mana, colorless. Mm -hmm. We're going to Shardless Agent. I have to Cascade, but I'm not going to actually cast it. Okay. So, I'll flip it around so that everybody can see what we're hitting off of this. Chancellor, Force of Will, Re Deny Reality, Archaeological Dig, Ancient Spring, Sulfur Vent, Tinder Farm, Tinder farm, really? Okay. The irrigation ditch, ardent plea. Hey, hey, there it is. But you know what? We're not doing anything with it, so we're basically just putting a creature out there that Liliana is going to edict in just a moment. Yeah, because you do what you have to do. That's the short. Oh, okay. You can cut my, my little half pile there if you want. And turn it around. Okay, cool. And you're up. Yeah. How many cards? I have four. four. Go to five. Oh, okay.
Decisions, decisions. This actually is kind of a big deal. Because I could take this in a number of ways. Shut <laughs> up. Let's see. As much as I like you, in my current state, you're the least likely to be usable. Unfortunately. But the payoff if I can get you to work is so great that I'm really incentivized not to drop you if I can. It's unfortunate, but that's the way it is. So, risk it for the biscuit. We're actually going to drop Cathari Remnant. And you drop Nether Void? Oh, Thoughtseize. Yeah. Can I sit blood? Oh, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Him. All right, maybe you'll see what it was. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. One. Okay. Odds, evens. Odds. Okay. Blood great elf, ardent plate. Pretty good. Pretty Go good. Right on time! <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, might as well. We'll play an irrigation ditch. And we'll pass the turn. This is Bant. So I have Bant, Esper, and Colorless. Sorry about that. Six. Force of Will. Mm. Little Lanes. Oh, and you have a fetch land in yep. the yard. Land for turn. I think this is probably game, but we'll play it out. <laughs> Go ahead. We'll play it out. Do I really have to do that? Yeah, I do. Um, Alright, so Psycho. make sure make sure this works. Yeah, okay, so this works. Black Blue, color. so we're gonna f have floating, it doesn't really matter. Deny reality, target Liliana, cascade. <gasps> yeah, I can't, the only, uh, it makes sense to target the Crucible here, but I can't really beat a Liliana, I can beat a Crucible, but I can't beat a Liliana. I can barely beat a Crucible. So we're gonna hope that this works. So, Remnant, Vein, Force of Will, Archaeological, oh, wait a minute, whoa, 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 Remnant, into, I have to clarify because this is a separate cascade now, into Crystal Vein, Force of Will, Archaeological Dig. I'm so used to doing it, I just went on. Ardent Plea, and now, now there's only one thing we can get. Okay, cool. And that's Restore Balance. So, Restore Balance resolves first. I have no more lands. I, you know, I had to sack them in order to have the mana anyway. Um, and then I had no creatures, so that's not a thing. Well, yeah, Lilian's about to be in your hand. Yeah, you you skipped ahead. You skipped a bit. How many cards do you have in hand? None now. There was none at the card Yeah, yeah, so event. you're going to have Liliana when this is all said and done. Because Restore Balance will resolve, and then we're going to get that in your hand. Okay, yeah. so cool. Now, Ardent Plea resolves, and these are going to go shuffled on the bottom. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Thank you for not making me go through all that. Then Cathari Remnant will resolve. Then Deny Reality will bounce Liliana. And pass turn. I have a potentially one power on board. <laughs> potentially. Yep, that's exactly. Go ahead. You know, you might actually be able to do the fetch land just for deck thinning. You, that way you can fetch a swamp and make yourself more likely to... Nah, I'll do that next turn. Okay, fair, <laughs> fair enough. Who already got that out? Just give it was you, just off the top. Um, swing for one. Pastor. Okay. I guess we're not doing it next. Okay, we have stuff. We have stuff. You looked at me like you were. 
targeting you. It's another deny reality. We just we got the one for one of justice. Go ahead. Okay. One. Pass turn. I know you have stuff to play. One of those things is presumably Liliana. We're getting there anyway. Let's get out of fetch and then go, yeah, go for it. By the way, just to give you an FYI, there are eight basic swamps in the deck. So eight fetchable lands. And then one, two, so okay. three. Yeah, since this isn't his deck, I ought to let him know. So when you see that magic number, that's enough. So, uh, yeah, not a lot I can do here. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't concede, but it, it's still not looking great. No. Not, oh, yeah. yeah. I felt that. Not looking great for T1. Here, you, you called it. I have one card in hand. So do you. What do you say? Or do you want to not take one next turn? Hmm? Because mm. uh, it represents one power. Forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna just eat it. Oh no! Go ahead. Hey, I, this is me not blaming you at all, actually. Go ahead. No land, man. Ouch. There are 26 lands in this deck. Meanwhile... <laughs> Over in Pox. Pox. <laughs> it makes me discard a card. I'm just going to discard both because you're going to yeah. bless Liliana. So it's Shardless Bloodbraid. Two. <laughs> and you have Go to sack a land, by the way. Oh. And lose a life. Did you? Yeah, you I did that. One? Yeah, okay. Go ahead. You get to stick, stay around. <laughs> that's, that's BM. <laughs> that's bad mannered. All right, faster. Where's Obstinate Bailoth when you need it? <laughs> yep. Curse Scroll? Yeah, okay, that's game. That's, <laughs> that's actual game at this point. Because he has a win condition. I was about to say, do I have to have a card in hand to scroll? <laughs> yeah, but you can just do that and then play the card, or then use the Liana afterwards. <laughs> yeah, so that's that's a that's a thing, unfortunately. Alright, sideboard time. Trivia. You you have some trivia that'll one day help you out. Trivia night over at you know the Mexican restaurant in Cornelia or someplace like that. Alright, I'm ready. Uh I'll be on the play. Mm -hmm. Let's see. All right. So thankfully, this generates that. Unfortunately, none of these bottom lines generate it. And that's a bit of an issue. That means that effectively, unless I draw into one of them, I'm going to have at least you hanging out in order to play you, or you, or you, or you. So this is actually a risky keep, but I think it's better than going to six. So we're going to keep it. This deck's focus on one color so heavily does occasionally come back and bite it. Mm. But you're going to six, so I, I think it's. I'm a little less unhappy that I'm keeping this. You got it. Alright. 
Alright. Ooh. Okay, you can go back to six. You get a, a, another one at six. Blues. You're a casual Blues. RAL. Sorry? I didn't draw any. There's like one swamp in both those hands. Oh. Were there other lands aside from swamps? Mishra. That's... It could work. Yeah, Swamp Mishra, it doesn't let you cast him to Torok, and it can be a little awkward with Liliana if you don't draw another land, but it can work. Hmm. Yeah, the colorless lands in this deck are actually more abundant than you might think. Four Mishra's Factory, four Wasteland, and then there's Tabernacle, which doesn't make any mana. Tabernacle, though, just as a one of. So there's, there's quite a bit of colorless mana in the deck. It has cards that can use that though. Curse Scroll, Liliana, your world enchants like Abyss and Nether Void. So it, it's it's fine to have it usually. Mm, I'll keep this. Okay. And you're at six, right? Yep. Good. Hmm. Okay. All right. Here we go. So we're going to start off with an Ancient Spring, Esper, and then we'll pass the turn. Right? Go ahead. Right. <sighs> right on time. Which is to say exactly one turn too late. Well, that's my luck. Tinder Farm, Naya. Mm -hmm. Pass turn. Scooch you to the back. Okay. Resolves. Two mana left over. Technically one, but yes. Oh yeah, yeah, technically one. I see what you're saying. Okay, no, we haven't tapped that yet. Yeah. It's actually a minus one for him to do it right now. Okay, it resolves. Mm -hmm. So first we're gonna discard. Yeah, we, we each lose a life. We'll discard a card. To discard Shardless Agent. Alright, and I'll sack a land. It's Tinder Farm. Alright, and you still have one floating him. Targeting you. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, it results. One to five, six is a reroll. Here we go. One, five. Three. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, and six reroll. You have a D4? Okay. Hey, that's that's pretty cool. We'll get out our D and D dice. And I kind of want to take a sneak peek at what my card that I'm definitely discarding is. The card that's already chosen, but I'll refrain for just a sec. Three. Okay, so here we go. You took Tender Farm, Leyland of Sanctity. This is the one I was saying was a turn too late. Yeah. Yeah. Leyland of Sanctity is actually a 16 for 1 in this deck. <laughs> go ahead. Play an Ancient Spring tapped, of course, and pass turn.
It's a uh, floating white and black. Right. Or is off right now. Uh, past turn. Alright. Still, I have to threaten it. I have to pretend I have something. <laughs> Pastor. All right, float. Go ahead. All right. Top deck. <laughs> I might as well say. I mean, it's obvious. Pastor. Since I didn't play a land last turn, it's obviously top deck. Ah, Go ahead. factory. Autumn factory is my favorite. Go ahead. Five cards in hand. Yes. Of course, you may swing for two. All right. Pussies. You may elect to take Ardent Plea, Shardless Agent, either of two Bloodbraid Elves, or Deny Reality. Spoiler alert, Blood Raid is the weakest one right now because I have neither color for it yet. Yep. Mm. So we're just gonna do this. What okay. colors does that one make? Orzov. It makes Orzov if I sack it, it makes blue if I don't. So these two are theoretically the strongest because these are the most likely to be castable. Yeah. Um. I'm going to take Ardent Plea. I agree. I agree a hundred percent. It's the easiest one for me to cast in the hand. And you take two. Yes. <laughs> I will take two. Go ahead. Now play revealed. Yep. Tinder farm. Yep. We're, we're, we're getting there. Oh, by the way, good choice. Pass turn. Because this makes blue, this makes white. So... You chose correctly. You gonna hit me for three? Yep, you take three. Alright. Go ahead. You have one card in hand? See. Not cast any of these yet. So, pass turn. Uh oh. It works. Want to hit me for five? You have Orzov and Boros. I do. I have Orzov and Boros. That's right. Boros off. Sorry. You're fired. Please don't. <laughs> it's 2018. That doesn't work anymore. Sinkhole, that one. Flip. Uh, Flip Boros. All right. Wait, you for three again? Yes. Go ahead. That should do. Yep. Well, that's a, a little late. Pass turn. Uh huh. All right, hit me for four. Yep. Go ahead. I just gave away what that card was accidentally. I didn't even see. I was okay. busy rearranging my wins. I'll pass turn. It's casual REL, but I need to be more cognizant of those sort of things. I brought the card over a card that I had already revealed. Mm -hmm. Then again, do you even. Re well, there's, there Herber. is an Herborg. There is an Herborg. Okay. Wait a minute. Oh, you're good. Okay. Now let's go for it. Hit me for four. Oh! 
Good games. <laughs> Good games. So, it was a Blood Braid Elf that I brought. Oh, really okay. Elf. I didn't even notice you did that. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> so, there's one... You weren't getting there at that point, no, though. No, no, no. There's one Misdirection main board. And there are three in the side, three Ley Lines in the side. There should be a fourth, actually. Yeah. Uh, it's in another deck. Your Ley Line is in another deck. Your princess is in another castle. Alright, let's see, where are the rest? There's a misdirection. There's the leyline. Okay, so these are the cards that I cited in. Leyline for obvious reasons. Misdirection, yep. I can force cards like him to Torok or Thoughtseize to target you. Yep. So, those sorts of things matter. With Leyline, Liliana just pluses. And I can, if that's all Liliana can do, I think I'm okay with that. Stormcaller's Boon comes out, sack it to give my creatures flying, or cascade. One of the Ardent Please, and then the four Cathari Remnants. So I actually cut down on a fair number of blue cards, but I brought in some more blue cards, granted ones that care about blue. I really couldn't take out Bloodbraid Elf. Bloodbraid Elf fights Liliana pretty well, so I really did not want to do that. Well, Bloodbraid into. You gotta cast it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Bloodbraid into Ardent Plea is actually a thing against Liliana. So. You know, or just blood braid on its own. Granted, not as good. But we can make it. We can make it. So that's that's what I was on about. Given this, I'm giving this deck a run for its money as best I can. But uh, I need some more practice, I think, or some more work on the sideboard.